and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I am Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today I am going to let you in on a little secret that I have figured out over the last eight years about the one surprising cause of most pain in the lower body. This is something that we all do without really realizing it and we've been doing it since we were kids usually. Uh, I would say probably 80 to 90% of all of my clients have this habit. And once I point it out to them, they're like, whoa, I never realized I do that. So I'm going to demonstrate what that is right now. Did you catch it? <laughs> so me, normal, my habit. It's leaning on one leg. And most of us pick a leg, left or right, as a kid, that we feel more comfortable on. For whatever reason, I like to call it the sassy hip. <laughs> I, if I go to my right and try to do that, I actually like can't. It feels really weird because I've been doing this for 30 plus years. So you've probably picked a side that you feel more comfortable on and you might do this if you're standing around at a party, standing in line at the grocery store, waiting for your latte, stuff like that. So when we're just kind of standing around, we typically end up on one leg. And what this does, basically, um, you wouldn't think it would do that much, but that's like 95% of my body weight right there, just hanging out on one leg. And what that does is it loads that entire leg all the way to the hip with 90% of my body weight, 90 to 95. And that actually creates a lot of tension in the fascial system on that leg. So what you're gonna typically see um, in a pattern like I have. If I lean on my left leg, um, I'm gonna have something like plantar fasciitis on my left foot, typically more so than my right. Um, maybe left knee pain. I do in fact have left knee pain. It started when I was about um, 17. Little did I know that this was one of the major causes of it. Um, it didn't show up on my right until I totally blew out this one, this took over, and then I had knee pain on my right. Um, you might end up with hip pain on the left side. You might end up with low back pain on the right because something over here is usually going to try to clamp down to keep your pelvis straight and in alignment so you have a straight spine. So those are just some of the patterns that you might see. Um, same goes for the right, it would just be the opposite. So um, this is one of the things that with my in-office clients I catch them doing during a session and then if I can get them to stop doing it and I'll constantly you know, point out that they're doing it, um, their results with me, the work that we're doing, will go a lot faster and last a lot longer. So if you can notice which side you're on, catch yourself and go to both. Um, you don't want to go to the opposite and create the habit over there. Now it's okay to like, let's say, I catch myself on my left and I might go to my right. Or because I know I'm always on my left, I might go to my right if I don't want to be on both. But in an ideal world, you're going to be on both feet. So right as we were filming this, my lovely assistant Carrie had an aha of her own actually around this information and I want her to tell you guys because you might have something similar. Okay, so I have scoliosis um, as well as long-term hip flexor pain and left knee pain and I often stand with my left knee locked and all of my weight shoved over this way into my left hip. And my aha that I just had was that my scoliosis actually curves like this away from that angle there and then up like that. So it's almost like this motion. And you have right-sided mid-back pain, right? I do, yeah, right-sided mid-back where the, that is curved there. So. Well, yep. So. Interesting. So stop it. Stop I'm going it. to stop. <laughs> So that actually brings up a really good point, which is when you do something like this for a long time, like this just does not feel the same on the right. What would have actually done and what Carrie has done is created a totally different um, joint experience over here where the hip kind of pops out and that can cause a lot of issues up the spine as well. So this isn't just the number one cause of lower body pain, though most of the time that's kind of where it manifests, but it can cause 
you know, mid back pain, um, and if you get a little bit of a curve in the spine, you know, maybe something in your neck or shoulders being off. So I've actually worked on clients where I had to actually get their hips back into alignment for something like a shoulder pain to go away with a problem like reaching across. So um, this is actually a pretty big deal. So if you can catch yourself doing this and stop it, you're going to get way ahead of um, the curve of like un undoing all that tension that's on one side and preventing it from coming back if you're doing something like mobility work on top of that to release all the fascia in the leg that you stand on. So if you find that this is a pattern that you have and you have pain on one side, you're going to want to address the fascia on that side for something like plantar fasciitis or knee pain or hip pain. Um, you don't necessarily need to go to the right, but um, you may want to test both just to find out. But just pay attention over the next week and notice how often you end up on that one leg and then try to stop it. For the full blog post accompanying this video, click the link below. And if you liked it, then like it and share it and help your friends eliminate pain from standing on one leg. And I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday.